Hey everybody, welcome to the how-to video for the catapult project. Here are some of the materials that you have to get the job done. And here are a few actual examples that you can start to check out as you begin your brainstorming. We thought the best way to get you ready for this project was to show you how we built a few of our favorite examples. The first one walks through more of a basic but super effective catapult. If you're looking to challenge yourself though, we recommend you draw inspiration from the second tutorial where we walk you through one of our favorite but a little bit more advanced designs. What we want to do here is get about 10 to 12 sticks, stack them on top of each other and then band them down on the ends. That will be our base and then we want to get two more sticks but only band them together on one side of each other. Go ahead and slide the taller stack through just the two popsicle sticks, which should start to separate them. Then attempt to press them together using a rubber band. Finally, you'll want to hot glue something like a cap or an Easter egg on top, which the ping pong ball can rest in, and then you're good to go. If you're going to attempt the more advanced catapult, first off, you want to tackle a base. Most bases are rectangular shaped, so it's really important to make sure that the sides are the same length, no matter how long you choose to make them. The point of these notched popsicle sticks is to connect them on their little indents, and they make it easy for your popsicle sticks to turn directions. We like to put a little bit of hot glue in those connections to make sure they don't go anywhere. So go ahead and do the same thing for both sides, and that's why we said to try to make it even, because in the end, it makes it easier for you. If you're looking for another way to change directions of your popsicle sticks, that's where these little cubes can come in handy. Since there's more area of the cube that the glue can bond to, rather than just a tiny sliver of the popsicle stick, it's a much stronger fit. All you need to do is take it one side at a time, put a little bit of glue on the side of the stick, attach the cube, let it dry, and do the same thing on the other side. Here's how it came in handy on the catapult that we're currently working on. Once the base is all done, we need to build our catapult up so we have something to attach the lever to. Keep in mind that we're going to be putting this catapult under a little bit of stress, so if you see any opportunities to make it stronger, we recommend you do that. We connected two pieces of balsa wood here, which is going to be the part that we pull back then slip it through a little rubber band loop, which we will show you how to make here shortly. At the very tip of those sticks, glue a plastic spoon so the ping pong ball has something to rest on before we launch it. From here, it's all about strengthening it and making the improvements as you see fit, kind of like the triangles you see at the bottom of our catapult and also the stoppers we put up top to prevent things from going side to side. If you still feel a little bit confused after seeing those, no worries. We recommend you start building a base, then build up, then you can attach your lever arm and rubber band and you'll be good to go. And remember, you can always, always ask for help in case any questions pop up or if you could use an extra hand. Our first tip is to try to incorporate triangles into your design. They are the strongest shape and a design with triangles will leave you with a souvenir that's strong and sturdy and that you can play with for a long time. Our second tip is if you're having trouble achieving that 45-ish degree angle, you can always add some height to the front if you need your design to go higher or put some height on the back to make it go lower. Finally, we recommend using a good mixture of hot glue and rubber bands for those connections you're making. We include lots of both, and some are better for different instances, so be sure to play around with both options. Here's a few of those quick rubber band connection tips that we promised you earlier in the video. We call this one the twist and tighten in case you'd like to lean a few against each other. Another helpful strategy is to wrap a rubber band around a stick, put something through it, and then tighten it down. Here's a slowed down version of how we did that X knot in case you'd like to try the easier catapult or build one in your extra time. 